Welcome back to Jacob's Fish Outdoor Gardening Adventure Music YouTube channel. Alright, I gotta make that sh short. Make the name short one of these days. So, I got, I got a fish video for you guys today. We are gonna. I'm gonna do a fish feeding for you guys. I haven't made a fish video in a little while. So, yeah, um, also wanted to show you, I did get more sand for the tank. I plan on redoing the sand sometime in the fall or sometime before the snow flies. So, there's the sand fresh from the beach. Nothing but the best, and I didn't have to pay a single penny for it. So, those two buckets of sand will be going in there. I'm gonna, the sand in there, right now, I'm going to get rid of half of the layer, top layer, and then uh, put the new stuff on top. Because the stuff on top right now is just filled with fish duty so it's gotta go and uh I just cleaned the glass inside and out just the other day so it's looking pretty clean in there so let's feed the fish and take a co closer look at the tank and see how the fish are doing this will be a quick, a quick video, not too long. I'll feed my fish this uh, Tetra Min Tropical Flakes. Get it from Walmart for less than three bucks, uh, a pink bottle, so it's not too bad. It's a one ounce bottle for under four bucks at Walmart, not too bad of a deal. So, let's see if I can open this one handed. I finally got a SIM card for this dang phone, so I won't have to worry about running out of data space, so I can make as many videos as I want now. I got over 120 something gigabyte SIM card, so. Alright. Got an extra pinch. Going in. And watch them go wild. Since there's usually a lot of fish in there, I tend to do two pinches. Just to make sure everybody gets their food and whatever still lands on the bottom. The white, uh, the white. The um albino little baby bottom feeder catfish will definitely eat. One of the bottom feeder catfish is right there down in the corner. sand is and how much debris and fish crap is in there. Yeah, we're definitely gonna take care of that. 
I have these snails that I put in there. They're, they're actually still alive, alive and doing good. Knock that one back back there. He's moving around right now. They're pretty much scattered all over the place. Have a goldfish in the kitchen. Um, he had a gotten a fungus type thing called ick, so I had to treat him. Thankfully, uh, someone that lives in uh, at this house uh, helped me f figure out a way to treat it without you know having to go buy special chemicals and shit so and then we also watched youtube to see how to get rid of it because it was he was getting all white and crusty and his scales were starting to come off and his tail was starting to disintegrate so it turns out you take one clove of garlic and you mince it up into, and then you boil it in hot water and you turn it into like a broth and you slowly add that to the tank. Well, I just you know, cut, cut up the garlic clove and, and minced it up and I just dropped it in. But then another way to get rid of ick in your fish tank is to get the water to 80 degrees or above and to keep it that way like at 80 or, or above for like a day or two and or longer depending on how the, bad the ick is on your fish and my, the goldfish that's out there now uh it caught it from the other fish that i had that died so it turns out that one also had ick, but we didn't know that. So that's why that one died, and then this one caught it. But thankfully, the garlic and the changing of the water and getting the water to over 80 degrees killed all the ick off, and now the goldfish is doing very well. So I'm really happy about that. I've had the goldfish for like going on six years. Uh, you see that little green neon right there? The goldfish was that that's that small when I bought it from the pet store for thirty six cents, and now it is is bigger than these guys up here. Goldfishes are definitely way bigger than those. Unfortunately, the tail, I don't think, will grow, grow back all the way, but uh, the goldfish is definitely thriving now. So, yeah, if your fish ever get ick and you can't afford chemicals, all, all you really gotta do is mince up some garlic and put it in the tank, or, and definitely make sure you get your, change the water halfway fill it up with hot water and try and get your tank above 80 degrees and it'll that'll kill it ick so my fish tank obviously wasn't hot enough and that's why the ick took took over the fish and i know i made videos of my white goldfish that died on, and it's on my channel and you'll see you know it, how it got sick and uh, I just wish that I knew that that was ick to begin with, because we could have saved the, the whitefish too, but unfortunately, we didn't catch it and uh, realize what it was. We just thought it was old age, but 
That's what happens when you own pets or fish, you know? They get sick, they die, but thankfully, in this case, we were able to nurse them back to health, you know? It, and surprisingly, the hot water trick, it, it worked It worked in 24 hours. 24 hours, hot water tr trick. Next morning, I got up and the fish was back to normal. Ick was gone, fish was happy, swimming around. So, I'll have to show you the goldfish in another video, but he, it's doing very well now. And I'm happy about that, very happy about that. Yeah, there's those bugs. Those are the albino catfish back there. The the bottom feeder ones, they get about four inches long, apparently, so they got a long way to go. And these uh, big guys, the oh, why am I drawing a blank of what they are? These guys down here are all tetras. All tetras. All different kinds. Oh, the big ones. I just remembered what they were. Grammys. Or Grammys. Grammys. I used to have an orange one, but uh, he died. But uh, these guys are going to get big, apparently. And they're already big compared to the size they were when I got them. Yeah. They got big. So, yeah, um, that's about it. Um, if you like my videos, remember to like the video. And the best thing you can do is to watch the video from beginning to end because that helps out the channel. And then uh, also, subscribing to the channel also helps the channel a lot. So, if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed already, Go ahead and please subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you feel like leaving any comments, go ahead and leave comments, and I will reply. I will reply to all your comments with any questions or comments you have about the channel or what you want to see on the channel. If you want want to see another fish tank on the channel, let me know. I'll save up for another fish tank. You just have to let me know what you want to see on the channel. And I, I will try to make that happen. Alrighty, so, yep, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I drop another video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will catch you on the next video. Just die Jacob. Over and out. Peace.